Hello there, welcome. This is uh, Rocker Jarvis, part of the It's Much More team, and uh, I'm also here with Mr. Dreamcast UK, James, from uh, Not Speed GE, and It's Much More as well. Yeah, that's James, yes, uh, from uh, Dreamcast UK, like you said, uh, Mr. Online Dreamcast. Yeah, so we're here playing Dragon Strikers, which is a recent release from Wave Game Studios, which is the first Dreamcast game, one of them at least, if not the only one in the last 20 odd years that is uh, online. Or at least online crossplay with uh, PC and potentially, um, I think they're bringing it out, is it PSP as well or something along those lines? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they might be bringing it out across platform. But this one has got crossplay. So we're going to give it a go, both via Steam on the PC, and we're connecting on the PC, uh, on the Dreamcast as well. So we're going to give this a go. Okay, so on the left-hand side is the PC Steam version. On the right-hand side is the Sega Dreamcast version. The full version that you can download or purchase from Wave Game Studios' website now. If you purchase the digital version or the pre-order the physical version, you get the CDI version in your downloads section. You know, I have no idea how it all runs in the back end, but sort of it feels like when you're connecting Dreamcast to PC, it slows down a lot on the sort of frame rate aspect. So yeah, Moth B's here as well. So it's myself, Dreamcast UK, Rocker Jarvis in here at the moment, and Moth B. It's crazy that this is 20 years later, and it's now released as a new title, and it's got online play. Mm. So it's got to be some props to the developers and publishers, etc. of this. We did actually have Wave Game Studios at our recent Knots VG event. A good couple of chaps, um, and they've got a lot of their games that they show off. So we're going to have a three-way match here. Yep. And let's start. So we've got two on the Dreamcast, one on the PC, which is myself. And I'm going to go full screen PC for a little bit, so you can see the quality. And then we'll go on to the full screen Dreamcast in a bit. Hmm. So yeah, so it joins, it looks like. The Dreamcast obviously takes a little bit longer to connect. As you can see, there's this one has various sponsors in the background, or at least people that are paid to have it there. So Dreamcast Junkyard, Sega Power, we've got Wave Games and Debug. And we're just waiting. F1's ready, so let's go. So this is the, we're currently seeing the PC gameplay. Which colour am I? Am I? I'm the red one, and I scored. I don't know where my car went. So you've got to remember what uh, colour your name is when you start the game. Oh! Who am I? Which, which colour am I? I'm not going to move, so I must be yellow. Okay, I am yellow, right. So this is actually one of the issues that I found, not issues, but I guess it's, it's uh, how, they've, how they've done it. But on this map, if you just circle around the edge, the way the map is, if, it's, if, you, if you hit the edge and roll it, it will always go in sort of that way. You, you'll see, if you circle around the edge, it will nearly always go in. Oh, you say that, I'm not going to score now that way. Yeah. But yeah, this is a circle map instead of the square maps or rectangular maps. This is circles. You can travel the ball all the way around. And it was nearly always going on the edge, which is, I wish there was like a little point. So like, I'll try and do it here. Here we go. It might be able to... So it's Dreamcast, so that's Moth B and you, Rock Jarvis versus me. I'm going to cut back to the Dreamcast version now so you can have a little look what that looks like. Oosh. There you go. Ah, yes. So as you can see, this is now full screen on the Dreamcast version. I, I, I really do believe it's a little bit to do with our, it must be something to do with our setup because a few times we've played it and the frame rate is looks amazing. So maybe connecting to Dreamcast. So with regards to the stats as well, I think where it says shot, I think that's how many times you actually hit the ball. Yeah. I was reading online as well. There was some sort of features it said online leaderboard or stats i've not found that yet so maybe that's still to be implemented i don't quite know yeah i don't know how they're going to add that into the dreamcast version that's already it's already ready to go so we'll see. you know because this the physical version hasn't been released yet but the digital version has so they could oh, I thought the physical had been. no 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 was that, uh, really? no the it was a uh, yeah i guess because they had it like this on gdmus right okay Still not had a chance to show what that where you were saying. A little bit like there, if you go <laughs> along the edge, because it's, it's more difficult now. There's three players because yeah. bots will always just carry on just doing their thing. Because mm. we was playing with this guy, was it yesterday? Oh, it's tight scoring. Hey, two of you are losing against me. 
Yeah, let's have a quick look. Go back onto the combo. Oh, nice little dink shot there. I do think it's got to be to do with the connection on the uh, the internet connection because it, it's just like it's lagging in the sense of you know connection lags. Mm. Pull it back to seven seven. Come on, let me score a goal. Thirty seconds. Driving strikers. Here we go. This is the bit I was talking about. Look, you just no. walk up to the no, edge. No. You can always go in because it's strikers. curved. Well, it's not curved even. It's a straight edge. There's no like little edge to block it. Oh, it's goal. Goal. Damn it. Brought it back. Nice and easy. 14 seconds left. <sighs> Let's get my normal go here. Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, and then I obviously knock it away. That's it, Bot. Thank you. Here we go, here we go. That's it, push it along. Ah, oh, no there's no time. There we go. I will show you a quick match on the PC version on the left of the other map. So once you complete the uh, offline league, you get to unlock this map, which is Sky High Hoops. And I wish you could play this online because it's one of the only maps that, you know, it's different to the other the other four in in that sense that on this map you can score from behind the goal as well and it's a straight square or rectangle in this case and it looks like it's based off a little bit of the monkey ball slash sonic or something but it's a good map because it's something different you can you can go around the back of the goal a bit like hockey you know you can play behind the goal and whatnot and you can score if this rolls in no it's not you can score from behind the goals as well. As well. So while Dreamcast is setting up, I'm going to go full screen on the PC so you can have a look at this. And it runs really good on the PC. But yeah, I wish this map was playable online because it's really good. You can drive through the goal as well. I guess the only reason why they didn't is because it can get trapped. Because it's straight lines, it can get trapped a little bit against the edges of the walls. Oh my god, against the edges of the walls. What's going on here? There we go. Yes, I mean, this looks decent, like that map you've got there, like a super monkey ball, and it has a different element to it. So the fact that you can score from either side of it. You well, know. I do think they've sort of worked out that because it's straight, like I say, look, I'm getting stuck. I'm just on my own and I can't get in. Oh, you mean the corner? Yeah. There should have been like a little bump. Like that tree should have made it, it should bump. Have really been like a triangle at the back here. A bit like our icon on our heads. I don't quite get what's going on though. I mean, look at that for frame rate. I know every game that you see get re-released or um, made or released, it's always about 60 frames per second or that sort of stuff. So clearly when playing online with the Dreamcast, that we've seen and with our setup, it's not, it doesn't appear to be 60 frames per second, but it's really enjoyable. Again, I'm not sure if that's because the modes that we're using, do, do we have an option to change the 50 or 60 hertz? I'm sure it said it will automatically do that for you. Mm. But we're using a, a random VJ adapter, so adapter. Could that be causing a problem as well? I don't think so, because it's internet based. Oh, lovely skill there. So yeah, this is a map, like I say, that you get to unlock. And Dreamcast UK is going to take over on the mic for a little while to talk. Um, so yeah, this is James, uh, Dreamcast UK, and uh, this is Driving Strikers. Still, we're on this. We go online and play some uh, Dreamcast versus Dreamcast. That's it. Let's try and get another... Here we go. Four-player match. So we've got a cross-play here. Proper cross-play. Let's just see how this runs, shall we? Right, let's start this match then. So I'm using BBA. I don't know what the other two Dreamcast users are using, whether they're using Pi or BBA. Normally, uh, Muff B uses BBA. But here we go. And Rocket Jarvis is using his PC Steam. So I didn't, once again, I didn't take note of what colour I was. The arrow down. I can't remember. So this is going to be fun. I've not seen a blue one before, so I'm guessing you're blue, Dan. So just waiting for all four players to connect. It's a fun game, don't get me wrong. It's well worth the money at the moment. You know, it's a game that you can just, if you've got four friends, play it around uh, locally. And then if you're PC users, I don't know, I've not seen many PC players online with it at all. 
So, here we go. So I am, what colour am I? I'm the blue one, I think. The one nil down. PC Steam version isn't working. So it's, that's frozen. So he's the green player. So the only way that he's playing this is by watching exactly what's happening on the, the Dreamcast. So, connected but not moving. So we are 4 nil down, 5 nil down. But we should hopefully come back into the game. He says, 6 nil down. Let's do this, Dan. Come on, we can come back. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so as you can see on the PC version in a minute, it's not working, so we've just gone full screen Dreamcast. Come on, Dan, you got to do this. Help me out. There you go, that's a goal. Oh, off the post and in with two minutes, two to spare. Oosh. See, it's still playable. It's still very, very playable on the Dreamcast. That's a goal, though. No. Oh, it's off the post. Dan! Dan! Quick, quick, quick. Oh, good to defend it. Oh, no. That's it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, yes. Three. Come on, we've got to come back. So, yeah, so lots of people in the Dreamcast uh, online Discord channel were saying they're having problems connecting with this. I mean, it's... So with this game, there's so many different settings that people have on their routers, on their PCs, on their Dreamcasts, you know, using Pi, using BBA, you know, what uh, port forwarding they've done, what ports they've opened, what security they've got on their router. It's, it's so difficult to, you know, to know what ones to use. And I know like um, Luke Ben said, because I said, uh, said what ones to open and what ones to not, but you don't know if these people have or haven't. And uh, if you on PC, you're not going to know what ones to open. If you just purchase it on Steam, you're not going to sit there reading through the, the discussion section on the Steam. But uh, I don't know. It's always connection problems with when me and Daniel do anything anyway. Back, you know, that's many of our matches on the uh, clan matches on Xbox are won by us saying that we couldn't connect the various games on the old. Return to Castle Wolfenstein and 13 in Halo 2, blue screen of death. But we're coming back. Just don't knock it in our goal, Dan. That should be a goal. Oh no! That's a goal to them. It's 5 to 9. Oh no. 10. Man, we're letting 10 goals. I know Rocket Jarvis is using a different screen. Maybe we can get him to host in a second. See if those two can join us. Oh, <laughs> See, clearly it must not be running bad for them because they're 11 goals they've scored in the game. I mean, Rocket Jarvis has given them a couple of goals. A couple of sitters. Oh... So let's see if Rocket Jarvis will host then. Okay, so we have someone in here. So we've got two PC, two Dreamcasts. So let's go on Lucky Vixens versus Venomous Rhinos. So a Fox versus a Rhino. There we go, yeah. This seems to work fine. Everyone's playing it. No issues. He did. Rocket Jarvis just scored an own goal. So it's Dreamcast versus PC now. Proper crossplay. Proper working against everyone. The power of the internet here. Oh, everyone using the turbos. 
So there is a jump mechanism, so you can jump if you so wish to. It can cause some issues, and it can help as well, like if it's all kicking off with the, uh, you know, like here I might want to jump into it. I have noticed though, we on the advertisement it shows on the poster it shows the football of driving strikers on grass, but there is no grass pitch on this. So, but I'm thinking it might just be a case of they've with the advertising they might have just taken the football off the pitch and put it on these other pitches, you know, to use as. Oh, good goal there! Was that you? Oh, Michael Jarvis just scored. Minute and 50 left, 2 1 tight match now between uh, two Dreamcast users and two PC Windows or Linux losers. You, not losers, users. But their Windows are losing versus Dreamcast. Up to 6 billion players this game has on the Dreamcast. Oh. So if you're wanting uh, to do tricks and skills, that like sort of stuff, uh, then you may want to try to play Rocket League. Because you can't do tricks on here, but you can jump, and that can be vital. And I don't know why I always jump really high in the sky. So, just watching the Dreamcast gameplay now on the full screen. So, afterwards, we'll get to that PC user to play versus another PC user, and the two Dreamcast users will go at it. Oh, everyone using their turbos, still with one minute to go. Yes, free free. So now just PC on the main screen now, just showing the difference. But it's still fun to play on the Dreamcast. But you know, it could run better on different, maybe if it's running better on the CD itself than the GDMU. Who knows? I mean, this Dreamcast we've got, we've had it from since launch. It's been around everywhere, been to events with us, so it's, it's taken a beating, and it's not using the best connectors for uh, output anyway. And the capture device we've got isn't the best either, is it, as well, so... That should be a goal. Ah, oh, no. 15 seconds to go. Hey, quick. Get rid, get rid. That's it, that's a shot. Oh, what a shot. We'll take that, we'll take that. So back to the PC footage for the last bit of time left. No. Oh, well defended. Oh, that was going to be a goal. A draw. Right, so let's... Uh, if you quickly uh, post. So let's... Uh, Let's see if I can create a game. Yeah, it's, I think it's Bravo or someone. Oh, so got a three-person game. Diddle -diddle -diddle -diddle. Whoa. Yes, so this map here. Yeah, so even though there looks like the little edge, even on the other side, there's a. Uh, it can go in. Oh. Here we go. Right, so there's a Dreamcast match been set up. Let's see if I can join that. Moth beat. Bum, 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 da, 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 da. Waiting for the game to start. Mm 
<laughs> Lost connection, sadly. Yeah, so uh, as you can see that, Rocket Jarvis just rolled the ball across the side and it just went in. Oh, it didn't. So yeah, I'll, uh, whilst I'm waiting for Moth B to host again. I'll watch this PC version because it just looks so. Uh, it looks stunning. What the scores are? It's uh, three to nine or nine for eight. And uh, what team are you on, Dan? You're on the team. That's nine. Okay. So uh, let's wait to see if the Dreamcast game's there. It's still nine to five. Dolly Parton. So. Oosh. Rolling on a river. Do do do. But look how stunning this game looks. There you go. It rolls around the edges. Circle map. It can be done. So we'll probably just have one more game of this together. And then we'll call it a day. I mean, it's not been the best of streams for us, technically. Um, but this is just a test. And this is a test for the emergency broadcasting system. This is only a test. But we get there. Um, one of my, you know, the mic itself was causing the issue though, wasn't it? Hey? Anyway, I'm going to try and host because uh, I can't find his game. Yeah, it would be good to play that hoops level online. Mm -hmm. See, that's the thing, you have to wait for people, wait in. It's the waiting game. Because there's not that many players at the moment, it's a case of just waiting for the four players that are actually online. I mean, <sighs> you'd have all been released on PC Steam, there'd have been a lot more players, but how it's gone well for the Steam users and the Dreamcast users, the majority of them don't even have their Dreamcast online. So, it's one of them things. Okay, so it's the last five seconds of the game here that you're watching, and it's 15 to 8. And there we are. Alright, so what we'll do then, we'll just get Rocket Jarvis to host one more game. I'll join that. Actually, I'll see if I can join the room. See if it lets me join that room. Three out of four. Let's see if I can join that lobby. So Rocket Jarvis will be against. Is it two PCs, two Dreamcasts again? Let's see if I can get in. I'm attempting to join. Hold tight. Booting up the network. Hey, so there we go. I'm the green player. Rocket Jarvis is yellow. So let's go against each other, me and you, Dan. We'll decide who's with us if you want to start the game now. Alright, so we've got split screen with the Dreamcast on the right hand side and the PC on the left hand side. Wait for players to join. One player left to join with a nice little Sega Rally cars. Look at the graphics on the PC version. Yeah, I think my name was Green. I think you're it's yellow, Dan, so. Here we go. The final match of this evening's stream. Oh, and it's decent. It's running well. Oh, we one nil up. But, hold on. Hey, one nil down. What the hell is going off here? On the green. Right, anyway, somehow. Don't know what's going on on my screen, but I'm one nil down. But we can come back. What a little dink. Little dinky shot there. Techers. 
whatever the kids say. Is that it's called techers or something? No? All those kids were going techers, weren't they? What is techers? Rio Fern what's that noise going off somewhere else? Someone trying to get in. So yeah, as you can see, the B button does uh, turbos and the A button does jumps. So, oh no, for me on the Dreamcast, it's B. But your, your um, A and B buttons will do the same on your controller. Oh, so three nil down, four nil down in the final game. <laughs> what does Yon say? <laughs> okay, so the scores are not sinking. Yeah, because at the start, mine went a bit weird because I scored the goal and then it showed your score in the goal. So the PC version shows 3 1, the Dreamcast version shows 4 0. Let's try and get a little goal here. Oh, off the post! Yeah, so the scores must have just desynced at the start, doesn't matter. We're still losing. Yeah, as you can see, the scores are different. This has been a fun evening, but it's, I mean, at the end of the day, we didn't have to do this as having both recorded at the same time. We could have just done one video and had the PC there, but we just thought we'd do something a little bit different to show you both systems playing at the same time versus each other with cross-platform. This is showcasing PC and Dreamcast users playing simultaneously on the same game. It's showing up a 6-0. What's it showing on your screen? 5-1. So it's one of them is a the correct score. I don't know what it's going to be at the end. It'll probably be your one. The host. Hostess with the mostest with the mostest. Where am I? Okay, I'm here. Oh, I tried to do a jump shot. Oh. Is it two PCs versus two Dreamcasts? As in, on the team. A bit of each. Oh my gosh, this is... It's embarrassing right now. 8 nil. Oh, come on. Come on now. Nice little red car. Oh, man. Oosh. My God. Yeah, 9 nil on the Dreamcast screen. 10 nil on the Dreamcast screen. Probably 9 1 on the PC screen. Oh, well. It's been a fun evening. I've not scored on it yet. Well, I'm not scored on the PC screen, but I've scored on the Dreamcast screen. <laughs> or the other way round. Oh, no. So yeah, the final final map, 20 seconds to go. And then it's home time, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and I still couldn't hit it. Oh, come on, quick, quick, quick. Just get one goal. That's a goal. No. Oh, no. Come on. Ah. Oh, oh, well. We've had five shots on goal. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, well, that was fun. I enjoyed that. Look, there you go. Seeing two PC players. Two Dreamcast players, but one of them, I don't know what platform they're on. It's got a question mark there, so. It's a Dreamcast user. Maybe on Pi or something. Cool. Oh, it, it loaded up Dreamcast at the end. So there you go, 4v4 on 4. We had a full match. That was Driving Strikers on the PC, Steam, and also on the Sega Dreamcast. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, then by all means, why not think about following or subscribing. Um, apologies for all the issues that we had technically, audioly, and gameplayly uh, throughout this whole video. But uh, it's been fun, and we'll hope to see you again soon. You take care of yourself. All the best. Bye-bye.